Live from the Caterpillar Global Communications Center at Bradley University, this is BUTV News. Good evening and welcome to BUTV News. I'm Sam Kohlmeyer. And I'm Jackie Myers. Let's take a look at the news. On Saturday, February 11th, pro-life activists made it National Protest Planned Parenthood Day. So the Peorians for reproductive, bleh, excuse me, reproductive Health Care reached out to the Bradley community to help hold a counter-protest at the Planned Parenthood in Peoria. Christina Cliver was there and has more. It was a warm and beautiful day to hold a rally. Actually, two rallies. People showed up both to defend Planned Parenthood and to defund Planned Parenthood. While the defend protesters vastly outnumbered the defund, both sides were peaceful in their protests, mostly holding signs and chanting. Don't be a meanie, parents take our kids are screaming. The Peorians for Reproductive Health, also known as PRHC, were the ones who were defending Planned Parenthood. And one of their organizers said it's important to keep Planned Parenthood going for women's health. 62% of women who come to Planned Parenthood have no place else to go. It's a very, very important service in this nation and in this state, and we're doing everything we can to protect that right, right to access these services. Howell told me that Planned Parenthood offers services in contraceptives, STI testing, cancer screenings for women, men, and teens, and that the Peoria Planned Parenthood doesn't even offer abortion services. It was estimated that there were 330 people lining Knoxville Avenue in front of Planned Parenthood. The organizers say it is important to spread awareness, especially during times when legislation is being passed that wants to start defunding Planned Parenthood. One Bradley student at the event told me that this protest was very different than what she expected it to be. My idea of a protest, like cluster of people and then like another cluster of people, but this is incredible like they're lining the entire sidewalk and it's all on the other side too and I think that's awesome. While at the event the PRHC was collecting items through the Red Bin Project. One of their members came up with this idea to collect feminine care products and sports bras so they could donate them to the homeless women of Peoria. Reporting in Peoria for BUTV News, I'm Christina Cliver.